This is a prehistoric pet. <laughs> now I say a pet, but really what we're doing is grabbing some scientific stuff here. 45 to 55 years old. Hey, I almost caught his fish as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's solid. <laughs> Yeah, baby! He's pretty solid. I don't think he knows he's hooked. There, there's the weight. There he is. Holy cow! Another 175, 200 pounder. You see that thing? Oh! Okay. It's going to give us a pit tag number, providing it's been caught before. If it hasn't been caught, we're going to pit tag this puppy. And the reason why is because that data will be used to preserve these in this river forever. There we go. I got to say that he is a thick, strong one, my back says so. Look at his little eyes. You see, he's got these feelers underneath like whiskers. That helps him find everything. Those little eyes don't do much. That nose is incredible. One of the best smelling fish at finding bait and food in the ocean and the world. Okay, yeah. so here's a scanner. And we're going to hold the reed. We already read two fish today. I'm going to take it, place it right over here. And boom! This one's been caught before. All right. Which means that we can hopefully find all the data to find everything out. It's probably a 25-year-old fish, yeah. maybe older. They're actually a threatened species, so they're being tracked really carefully. Everything's let loose. We're going to let this one go in just a minute. Living the dream. a new spot already had a bite and i think we're gonna get another one are you ready yeah here it comes here it comes, here comes watch, this. watch this oh just just now here it comes now oh, oh yeah that's, that's a, big that's, that's big that's like a 400 pounder <laughs> a lot bigger than dude else that makes get. everything we Back caught look like up. nothing it's i think good. we just got hooked the giant i mean it looked like a 400 pounder Oh, the bubbles, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's big. Giant. It's gigantic. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh yeah, he's That hard. thing makes everything we caught in the boot. And the best part, single barbless hook just comes out like nothing. Holy cow. Oh man. Woo. Hey, all you freshwater fishermen. I apologize. I've just been whipped by a freshwater fish. I always used to make jokes. I catch my bait in freshwater. Wow. Oh, man. Holy cow. He's longer than the bag, but not, not the fork. Here we go. Here we go. Other side, maybe. Oh, my gosh. This might be my dream. This is insane. I, I literally, all he's been talking about was how it was <laughs> unlikely we're gonna get an untagged fish. We have scanned it, I've scanned it twice, he's scanned it twice, we're gonna scan it one more time. If this fish isn't tagged, it's a 30 year old fish, it's never been tagged on this river, super rare. It's The whole idea is now we're gonna be able to put this into the program to be able to be watched so that these things last here forever. You ready? Are we gonna have try, it? Try one Are we gonna time, have yeah. it or not? Here we go. Okay, the most likely spot. Just behind the skull, yeah. Uh, yeah. The other side. Other side. Case. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, okay. Nothing. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Yeah, hold check, on. Check that last part. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, baby. Living the dream. Exactly what I fantasized. So we're going to tag this sturgeon right now. We're going to release it back into this amazing habitat. That was going to happen. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I didn't. living the dream. And it ain't even a baby. <laughs> All right. So let's see. So now you're going to see the tagging process. We're going to hurry up, tag this guy. We've got to get some accurate measurement for the data. The data will be entered in, in a database. Into a database, yep. <laughs> let's show us how it's done. So this is our pit tag here. It's very small, but the size of a grain of rice. And then we just put that in the in the needle. And it goes just behind the skull, just underneath the skin. So once we do that, it's in. And then we just want to make sure that our number and our tag is good and active. So now we're just going to scan it. There we go. We Boom. got our tag number. Just, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Living the dream.
living the dream right here on Fraser River. Woohoo! Yeah, so we're gonna we, me we measured it. We're gonna let this thing go. Okay, so I'm gonna get these waders on because we gotta release this fish. I'm gonna hurry up. I want these guys, kids to be able to see everything. I want to see everything. I am the biggest kid here. Here we are on the Fraser River, and so they're learning firsthand about a fish that I don't even know. They're teaching me about it. Absolutely incredible. We're gonna add to that database measurements and scientists are gonna be able to keep track of everything. So these are here forever because that's what we need to do is protect our animals and wildlife. And this is absolutely how it's done by science, by figuring out what's where. And you can't do that unless you're gaining research. And this is exactly what we're doing. And the money go, the money from permits and licensing and catching these are all put back into the system to keep track of all this. So this is a really cool thing. Uh, how long have you been doing this? 20 years. And let, how many fish have you caught, you think? Almost 23,000. 23,000 <laughs> fish have been registered. What do you guys think? Is this cool? Yeah! Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> how do you get this, right? <laughs> So, so Eve here is getting a little bit of what I get to do every day, surrounded by kids learning, and I, it's incredible experience. I can't tell you, no money on earth could replace it, and I can say that because I have made money at times in my life, but there's nothing like being able to give back to the world and enjoy it at the same time because it makes, it really feels cool. So anyway, chase your dreams, whatever they are, hope you had a great day, and let's let this fish go. You ready? So we're going to walk them out this way. Oh, look at that. I think I'm supposed to keep the waders where the water don't go over it. <laughs> Good job, Juliet! Thank you! Oh, living the dream.